Hey everyone, uh, this is Cool Kid, and this is the video for the Attack on Titan Chapter 126 review. And here's the thing I kind of forgot to upload this video because, you know, I had it done earlier, but then I all know, I, I guess I just kind of forgot because I looked in, you know, my video and I was like, oh shit, it's not up on my channel. I didn't upload it, so, you know, uh, video is completely you know, edit by the time I record this intro part, and, uh, let me think, things I should say, uh, oh yeah, before we get into, I guess, the actual video review, uh, things to note is, uh, you know, since I recently made the, the Bleach video with, you know, talking about the big announcement, unfortunately for, uh, Anime Japan, uh, it, it unfortunately got closed down to to you know the the upcoming virus so bleach fans here's the thing it, does that mean you know whatever was going to be announced is canceled no i i do think what was announced still is going to happen you just have to they they're probably going to wait until some other event or hell they might even uh post about it on twitter or online, or something like that, so, uh, that's it for that, so, uh, oh yeah, uh, tomorrow, or Saturday, or today, whenever, but this Saturday, I am, um, going to be watching, uh, the new, uh, My Hero movie, uh, it, it was like Heroes Rising, or something like that, I don't know, the, whatever the new My Hero movie is called, I'm going to be watching it, so, uh, yeah, just comment down below if you want me to talk about it, uh, I don't know, that, that's really it, so, literally, after, you know, I'm done filming this, I'm going to edit this at the beginning of the video, and, uh, yeah, that's it, so, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, if you want more information about the Bleach stuff, uh, uh, Bleach Center did a video about that, so I'll put in the tile card or something. But yeah, back to my actual self for real. Oh, hi. Uh, this is Cool Kid, and uh, we're doing a, another Attack on Time chapter review. More specifically, chapter 126. So, uh, yeah, let's get this started. So, basically, this chapter starts off with a flashback of basically a... Uh, Hanj, uh, taking, uh, care of Levi and healing him, and he's currently, you know, knocked down for, I guess, most of the, uh, uh, recent, recent events, and hell, even Levi, if you look at him right now, he has, like, a, he, he's pretty much got, like, some kind of Frankenstein sketched up scar, like, um, like, a let me look on my screen. Yeah, there is, he has one stitch of scar that goes from here all the way down to, like, his lips and his mouth. And he also has another mini scar with the, uh, with his chin from over, over here. So, uh, that, that's, uh, that's an update for new, uh, Levi merchandise, if you want. So, uh... We go a little bit forward in time whenever Aaron does his whole, uh, you know, telling all the Eldians his entire plan. And we do get to see a shot of uh, Hanj and uh, Levi in there. And uh, let me scroll down just to get a better look from my end. Yeah, yeah, we do get to see Hanj and Levi in there. But uh, Le Levi wakes up to... Uh, unfortunately, not seeing it all while he was there. He's, he was still a knockout. He didn't get up to afterwards. So, Han should kind of is the one that knows everything. And then when Levi gets up, he's like, Oh my god, I'm going after the the, the beast titan, Zeke. He's mine. He's dead. And uh, Han basically explains to Levi what's happened so far. And, uh, she's playing to literally, uh, carry him with, with, uh, a little wagon. And, uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll mention this before the next thing, but uh, we do get to see a shot of uh, his arm where, uh, not arm, I mean hand, where he's literally missing his two fingers like this. Wait, do we got it right? Let me look real quick. Uh, no, no, no. It's, yeah, it's more, it's more like this, which, to be honest, kind of reminds me of, um, while I haven't watched this anime, um, Vinland Saga, I, I, I think there's a character who gets, like, his, some of his fingers chopped off or cut off or something like that, so I know much about that, but, uh, hey, tell me if I should watch, uh, Vinland Saga, but, uh, to, to, uh, basically go back, we, you know, flash back into the present, where Levi says, my whole goal is to kill Zeke, and since Bolfar enemies align, I think we should join forces and team up, and that's how this scene basically goes. Uh, a couple of notable things we learn is, uh, uh, Peck's full name, uh, Peck Finger, which is, um, it's an interesting name, but, uh, but, uh, nothing, you know, worth of merit to know, and, um, uh, let's see, uh, Theo also mentions thinking about, uh, shooting Levi, but, uh, nothing really comes, uh, of that. So, in the, um, next scene, we get this, uh, night shot where, uh, we basically go and look through all our characters and places up. But uh, I guess I'll mention the first one is of the, you know, giant wall times just m marching away. And uh, one thing of the uh, notice you, you can see with this shot is they are still moving. There, There is literally nothing stopping them. So, you know, even if the, the moon's out, it, it looks like it's not really affecting them, then, uh, let's see, we got a shot of, uh, Jean, uh, uh, just, uh, I guess, sulking, uh, then, Mikasa, uh, we got a shot of Mikasa, then, of Annie and Hitch, Reiner, who, uh, who looks like who hasn't, you know, even took a bite of his food. Uh, I mean, a Gabby, and then we get to, uh, I guess, the most noble one out of them is uh, Falco and uh, Connie. And basically, Connie uh, kind of uh, contemplates that, uh, well, is this, is this kid catching on? Because he's been kind of, you know, okay with everything. He's not been complaining or anything. I mean, is he suspicious? Does he trust me? Is that really true? And he, and, and he even questions, is this right? Is this something that Sasha would have been okay be doing? Which, um, obviously, Connie, that is, uh, that is no. That, that, that obviously just, uh, would not happen. And, uh, th then it, you know, goes to, a uh, uh, day where, uh, we get to, uh, what's the village called again? Uh, Rangako Village. Falco, as we, uh, all expected, he figured out what's been, uh, what was, uh, Connie's whole, uh, plan. Well, not, not exactly. He, while well, Falco kind of figured out, oh, he, he came into some remote place just to, uh, kill him or, or something, but then it's, you know, kind of slowly revealed that, no, he's, he's here to feed him to his mother, which, uh, we, we get this really creepy scene, like, um, let me scroll it down for myself that you'll see it in right now where God, he's like, oh, I just want... 
I just want you to help me uh, brush this giant's teeth. And it's got this like, it's got this kind of weird, creepy look. Um, oh my god, that is, that is, uh, that is so creepy and weird. But then Armin and Gabby arrive there and they're like, hey, they're trying to feed you a Titan Falco and, uh, Tensions escalate with uh, Connie being like, oh, well, what's next, Armin? You want me to forget about my mother? And um, Armin gets this moment where he thinks about uh, Commander Erwin. And the only logical thing that he can think of is like, oh, fine, and instead of killing that kid, how about I die instead? But uh, obviously, Connie kind of doesn't really do that. He rescues him and uh, no one gets eaten. Yay! She told me to become a, a great soldier, but uh, I nearly killed a kid and one of my friends. I think that's very unsoldier like of me. And then Armin's like, me too. I wasn't able to replace the commander. And obviously, I'm just going to go into this. I do not think uh, Commander Erwin was in no way if ever would ever do that. But I guess that really shows, you know, how different uh, Armin is from Erwin. And uh, yeah, let's continue on to what's happening next, which uh, we go with... Uh, after that, the next thing we go to is uh, with uh, Mikasa confronting Luis. Yes, I, I remember who she is. Uh, I know it's been a while, but yeah, uh, we have um, Luis, who is the one who currently has uh, Mikasa's lost scarf that we were wondering about last chapter. Like, that, that was last chapter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was last chapter. And Louise basically uh, says that uh, she took this scar to, you know, get closer to you. And uh, we get to a little flashback when, I don't know, uh, Aaron tells her while I think Aaron was, you know, currently in prison that uh, to uh, throw away her scarf. But she was like, I thought uh, I could at least have it with me. And Mika says, like, uh, just... Give it back. And, uh, yeah, basically, Mixa just takes it. And Louise basically uh, ends this with, uh, I, I became a soldier because uh, I admired you. I, I have no regrets. I chased that you as long as I lived, devoting my heart. And, um, yeah, ends there. Then, mm, uh, after that scene on uh, the, the same day or the next day, it could be either which and um, the, the giant wall titans are, I, I, they're presumably, you know, way out of the town. So, you know, the, no more uh, destruction will be happening on them on Paradise Islands. And uh, basically, yeah, the uh, Jaegerist with... Uh, Vlog basically says, yeah, we are, uh, we're basically taking over this place, and with that, we are throwing a feast! With all the sins and drinking and eating. Then, uh, we, we go with, uh, Connie, Armin, Gabby, and, uh, Falco. Basically, I guess, taking, um, a mini detour to, uh, you know, eat up. And um, I guess one of the things that is mentioned, that Gabby mentions that uh, we're going to be in a two or three day coma, so it'll be fine. It's fine. Ryan will just be a slave for two or three days, so it's okay. Um, uh, then the group mentions that, uh, you know, Annie, you know, being awake and back, and while that's happening, we get Annie literally stuffing her face with the uh, with pie! 
Yay! And then the group turns over and then we get this shot of Annie and it's... Oh god, it's... It's wonderful. Which, uh... Which, uh, I got myself some apple pie. Guys, right? Uh... Where the, where the hell is my pie? Hmm. Mm. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, yeah, I was just, um, a, a little hungry. Uh, here, you can, you can have the rest. Mm. Uh, now, I have my pie back. <laughs> well, um, uh, see you in the next review. So, um, yeah, um, back to uh, the review. We have this, um, uh, funny moment with everyone and, you know, them being surprised by Annie and you know, everyone's just having a fun moment with Connie being like, oh, she's got a little pie! Yeah, she's having her first pie in four, four years. And, um, yeah, basically Annie did just, just hitch. So, uh, yeah, let's put that right there. But, yeah, Annie just ditches hitch, which I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that basically says that, yeah, hitch is, uh, it's just going pretty much to nothing else during, I don't know, the rest of this, but uh, at least she gives her a letter. And, I mean, maybe she has to eat her pie alone. But, uh, hey. After that scene, we get to a scene with the uh, uh, flock, and the Jaeger is basically about to, uh, Execute Yelin and Yokopon. I think that's how you say it. Is his name? I don't think I've heard to say his name in the reviews yet. But uh, yeah, basically how they go with it is uh, with Yelin just kind of being uh, quiet, quiet about the thing, and the only real thing uh, he says is just just kill me. And then we get uh, Yokopon who basically. He, he is just lashing out with everything. I mean, he basically, I, I feel bad for him. He, he basically got uh, betrayed. Uh, let me think. He got betrayed by Yonkapon. And he got betrayed by the Jaegerist. So, yeah, I, I feel pretty bad for that guy. But, uh, and uh, it looks like Sean is going for the, the, the execution. But, he somehow misses it. Oh my god, the cartoon's attacking! And it took Yelin, Yokopon, and uh, Jean, and, uh, and uh, then we get the, you know, I guess, big reveal, the whole plan. Yes, all these, all these forces have, well, joined uh, together for um, Mikasa's an arming troop. They basically just get get supplies and get going and um while leaving they know someone's watching that could it be Keith could it be Zeke who could it be I personally have no clue so uh please stop asking me uh questions so uh so they just uh so basically they keep going and um uh, then we go with uh, the the cart titan. Yeah, we go with the cart titan, which uh, I, mean, I find this uh, where Han is like, yeah, since uh, you stay in the cart titan form for months on end, uh, do you ever think about like brushing your teeth? And, and of course. Uh, Peck says, that's very rude to say a woman, so I find, I find that kind of funny, and 
uh, we get the revelation of them basically saying, you know, Capone, uh, pretty much says, when you guys joined forces with Marley and uh, Sean's like, last night, and he's like, you sure? You could have stayed in a high position with the Eggers. And he's like, if I do, did do that, all those burning bones would would never forgive me. And you know, Capone's, he kind of really doesn't understand, but, um, you know, all the people who has been reading slash watching Attack on Titan, uh, we know who he's uh, talking about. It's, you know, so Hinge mentions that uh, Marley wants Yelin alive. Ooh. But uh, before we ask, start asking questions about that, and then we uh, flash to uh, Reiner, where he literally gets kicked in the face. Yeah, sorry, Reiner, your suffering is still happening and he's basically you know questioning uh, what's going on and we got this uh, scene where, a scene where Kai's like there's no time where we're going and Brian's like where and let me scroll down to see this it's so cool and he's like group shot it's like to save the world and that's where the chapter ends and um yeah Basically, uh, this whole chapter is basically, it, 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 to be honest, felt pretty fast, but, um, yeah. Even though this chapter felt, you know, pretty fast moving, I, I think it, you know, the whole goal of this chapter was, you know, basically to get everyone together. And I was definitely accomplished in this chapter, and while... Um, they could have probably, you know, slowed it down where, you know, it, where, where it's like, you know, this, uh, Hanj and, uh, Peckham join, and then, um, then, uh, then Connie and Armin join, and, you know, it slowly formed together, but this whole chapter was basically, you know, getting them all together, so, I personally don't know when the whole, um, Aaron Battle, it might actually happen starting next chapter, but uh, it's a good thing everyone's gotten together. Uh, things I mentioned that I love about this chapter, uh, Connie, no, not Connie, um, I, I love, I mean, Annie, yeah, yeah, a Annie, I freaking, I freaking do love, um, Annie in this chapter and her old, you know, Huffing her face in, that, that was pretty funny. And um, so the, you know, and we guys like, to save the world. That, that was, that was pretty good. But, uh, you know, I mean, it was just, you know, as a chapter kind of felt, I mean, when you say it did feel fresh, it probably did because, I don't know, they didn't have really much time to, you know, take time. I am. This is chapter, what, 126? You know, I mean, it's definitely possible if uh, the chapters go around this same pace. Um, we might get to the ending by 1.30. I, I think about it now, probably like, uh, 1.35 is probably a, um, probably a better shoot than just 1.30, but hey, that is a mystery. And, um, hmm. Yeah. I'm out of the apple pie, so, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, I can say I can end the review. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk about the mysterious guy. I don't know who could it be. Not sure, and, um, yeah, this is the end of the review. What will happen next? Will they succeed? Will they fail? Will Aaron win or lose? Is Zeke alive? And how much of a badass is Levi still with his awesome scar, Frankenstein scar, what, whatever? Until then, the fate of the world is in their hands.